guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you the ROM that I'm running currently on my Galaxy Nexus. That is the codename Android ROM. This ROM is totally awesome. What I love most about it is all of the customization features. There's so many features to choose from. You'll literally be playing with your phone for a couple of hours after you flash it just to tweak all the customization settings. But above and beyond that, there's a lot of performance enhancements and also performance settings. And we're going to get into all that with this quick review and also install tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you probably noticed is the lock screen. Uh, there are customization options for uh, four landing places for your lock screen. And of course you slide right to unlock. You can change these apps. They're all interchangeable as well. And you probably also noticed that carrier text there at the bottom. I changed it to Droid Modder X. Uh, so you see that there, that is all customizable there as well. Another thing that you'll notice right off the bat is the soft keys that have been modded. I have a search key there and also a menu key there where I can pull up my wallpaper and system settings as well as manage apps there from the home screen. Another thing that's cool about this is that the launcher is customizable. This is a uh, version of Trebuchet launcher and it includes the transition effects. You see how it's doing the cube there. Uh, which is really cool. I had that with ADW on like my Droid X and my Bionic, um, but it's here on the Trebuchet launcher as well now, which is really cool. I like that a lot. Another thing you'll notice here from the home screen is uh, my clock. It's in the center. That's because it can be adjusted in the settings. And also you'll notice that I have a battery percentage mod there uh, and there's also several other battery mods that you can do so what we'll do is we'll jump into the settings and I'll show you all the cool settings that come with codename Android and let's see here under codename and settings you have the interface so if you click on the interface I'll show you all, all the settings that it has here you can have a uh, clock widget you can change the AM PM style if you go to clock style you can change that to a, a right clock, center clock, which is what I have, or no clock at all. Um, let's see here. You can also do clock colors, and you can change the color of the clock. Let's see, maybe that'll help. Yeah, that helps out a lot. Getting rid of that light, you can see a whole lot more. Uh, let's see here. And you can also enable the alarm icon there as well. You have a battery widget, which you can change. You have several different settings for uh, the battery. You can do your battery bar color if you chose a battery bar, which would just go across the top there. That's like with the MIUI. One thing that I did notice with this ROM is I'm having trouble getting the colors to stick. Like, see here, I chose red, and I'm not getting that red battery bar up top. And I'm not sure why. I don't know why it's not working. Uh, but anyhow, it's not working properly. Uh, under notification widgets, um, there's several things here that you can change as well. And on-screen controls is where you go to find your menu button and your search button in the soft keys. Pulse notification, this is with your LED pulse. They have a spot here to change the color, uh, but for me, that didn't work. So maybe if you play around with it, it'll work for you. Uh, but I chose set, and that didn't work for me. I even tried rebooting the phone, and that didn't work. But what did work is the LED pulse duration. I changed it to 3.5 seconds, and that seems to be working perfectly. But my color is still white. So I guess there's still some work to be done with the pulse notifications. Uh, some other things here. Uh, the custom carrier label is under miscellaneous, and you can edit that to whatever you want. The CRT off animation, like whenever you turn your screen off like that, uh, you can select that there as well. The 180 degree rotation enables you to view, let's see, like if I'm in an application, like the YouTube application, if I turn the phone upside down, the screen will rotate with me. And you can also disable the boot animation there as well. If we go to the performance settings, uh, we have... Overclocking, we can set that to all the way up to 1350 megahertz, which will have your phone running incredibly fast. You can also undervolt to help save with the battery power. And then you have your launcher settings. 
uh, with the home screen. The coolest thing about these launcher settings is you have the transition effects, and there's tons of them there. Uh, I like either the stack effect or the cube out effect, but that's just me. Uh, like I said, though, there's several to choose from there. So pick your poison. Also, uh, you can change the number of home screens and change uh, your default screen. So whenever you press the home button, uh, you would get a different de default home screen as well. And you can change your drawer settings. They have transition effects that you can change. You know, stock is the stack effect, but you can change it to any other effect there as well. Performance of this ROM has been outstanding. I've gotten pretty good battery life. I'm sitting at uh, looks like 59% on battery for now. And I've been running this thing for most of the day. So that's pretty good. As far as performance, I got a quadrant score of about 1700 on stock. Ice cream sandwich, I got about 1625. So there's a little bit of a performance there. You notice that it is very quick and fast. Another thing that I didn't show you earlier is you can add these toggle widgets up top and see my carrier. Uh, my carrier logo is Droid Modder X there at the bottom where I changed it. And then the other thing that it has in this ROM is the power menu options. Uh, you can reboot to recovery straight from there or to bootloader or just a restart, reboot. And you can also take screenshots there from that menu as well. I think I've covered pretty much everything here. You, it does include a file manager as well as Google Wallet. Um, other than that, it's just a really cool ROM. I know Codename Android is... Okay guys, so now we're going to jump into the install uh, video guide. So let's go ahead and jump into Clockwork Mod Recovery. You get there however you normally get there. For most of you guys, you'd be holding down both volume buttons and pressing the power to turn it on. And then you would scroll over to Recovery and boot into Recovery that way. Uh, on this ROM, you can just hold the power button in, select Reboot, and Reboot Recovery. And that should reboot you into recovery. This is a very simple install process. If you guys are familiar with installing ROMs, then you're familiar with installing this ROM. You just wipe everything and install. Uh, do be sure to grab both the ROM and the G apps from the link in the description. Have those both on uh, your SD card. Now I'm using the Touch Base Clockwork Mod Recovery. You can get that off the market by just searching the Touch Clockwork or CW. MR uh, recovery installation. I think it's CW MR Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch Installer is what it is. CW MR Touch Installer. And that'll get you this. You just have bigger font and touch. It's not as finicky. It's a whole lot easier to use. So the first thing you want to do is go to uh, Wipe Data, Factory Reset, and select that. Then you go down to Yes delete all user data. I'm going to go back because I already have it installed. Select enter. Then we're going to go to wipe cache partition. Select enter. And go down to yes, wipe cache. I'm going to go back for now. And then we'll go to advanced. Select enter and wipe Dalvik. Enter. Down to yes, wipe Dalvik cache. When that's all finished, you will then go to uh, install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card go to your download folder if you've downloaded the ROM and the G apps directly to your uh, directly to your phone they should be in that download folder you're searching for code name droid mod 1.2.0 that's the latest version and you will go ahead and select that and go down to yes install code name Android when that's finished, it'll take about two or three minutes. You'll choose it from SD card again. And you'll select download. And go to this ICSG apps. Select that and go back. When that's all finished, you can reboot your phone. And you now have Codename Android installed. And so it does come with the stock ICS. Uh, Galaxy Nexus boot animation. Guys, this is a really cool ROM. Uh, you definitely want to flash this and check it out. I know there's lots of cool stuff to come from this ROM. And uh, 
For all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks, you can check out DroidModerX.com. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter uh, at DroidModerX with an E, not a 3. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And thanks for watching, guys.